Hey, this is Dana White from the UFC, and you're watching ProMMANow.com. Hey, Dan the Wolfman here for ProMMANow.com with up-and-comer Travis Brown. How's it going, sir? Good, man. Good. Just hanging out here in L.A., Fox Card. You happy to be here? You're going to watch and enjoy the fights? Yeah, I'll watch them, and I'll enjoy them, and wishing that I was on them. But, uh, you know, it is what it is at this point. Just going to have some fun. Originally, you were supposed to be on this card. A lot of fans, including myself, are not so happy that you know you didn't. Were you bummed when you found out Big Ben Rothwell had to uh, drop out? Big time. I was big time bummed. Um, you know, as, as an athlete, it's something that you want to get in there and do is you want to perform. I've been I've been getting my butt kicked for eight weeks. I want to get in there. I want to show everybody what I've been working on, what I've been doing. You know, just kind of show off a little bit. I love to show off. Sure, sure, absolutely. But you should have a nice cardio base now when you take on Bigfoot Silva. I mean, you're probably already at a really good level. Um, uh, taking on Bigfoot Silva in October? Yeah, October 5th, I'm taking on Bigfoot. Um, yeah, it's kind of giving me a jump start, um, you know, and especially this fight's a five-round fight, so it's something I'm going to have to prepare, uh, prepare for, uh, you know, going the, that extra 10 minutes. So, um, you know, training training's going to start getting a little bit harder here next week. Um, I start back to training. Once I found out I wasn't, I wasn't fighting, I took about 10 days off where I just didn't do anything, let my body heal and reset. Um, just getting, you know, getting all the little little kinks out, you know, but um, I'm ready to go again, start another eight-week camp and uh, meet up with uh, Silva October 5th. At 6'7", with such a big frame, are you worried about your cardio a little bit there? Are you going to have to pace kind of your burst, or you think because you're at Greg Jackson's up in altitude, you're going to be okay to handle that? Yeah, you know, I think, um, I think I'm the kind of person that once I get into a certain level of shape, it's hard to, it's hard to get tired. Um, I, I did that when I, when I played basketball. I used to get yelled at my coaches, like, you're not playing hard enough because you're not getting tired. It's like, well, coach, I'm playing just as hard as everybody else. I'm just not getting tired because I'm in shape. So I feel like I'm getting to that shape now, and, and being at Greg Jackson has definitely helped me get there. Excellent. Who are your uh, biggest training partners over there? Are you working with John Jones a lot? Yeah, you know, the, uh, my last two fights, um, I'd, been, I'd fought in the same card as John, so we did our eight-week camps together. So I got a lot of opportunity to work with them. So John Jones. Um, Sean Jordan, I have a guy named Cody East, Anthony Hamilton, um, you know, we've, we've, Andre Olofsky's there. We um, big guys. Yeah, we do. We have, and then I, I brought another two heavyweights, so we had like, you know, five, six heavyweights and John Jones and, you know, a couple other guys to help out. Excellent. That sounds good. Uh, do you got any picks for the main events tonight, the, the two main fights between Bader and Machida? And yeah, I think... Um, you know, I think uh, Vera and Shogun is going to be a tough one. Um, I, I, I give maybe a slight edge to Shogun, but I also believe that, uh, you know, Brandon comes out and does what he's capable of doing. I think he will he will definitely win. Do you think Brandon's got to start early if he's going to have a chance? He's I, jump yeah, I think he's got to come out guns blazing and, and just go for broke from the beginning. Um, and I think uh, same thing kind of for Bader, you know, coming out against Machida. I think, uh, you know, if he doesn't – imposes will and is, uses strength, then Machida's going to beat him up. There's going to be almost a 20-pound weight difference by the time they actually fight. Do you think that's going to be advantage, advantageous for Machida because of the speed, or do you think Bader might be able to get a hold of him and his strength is going to... That, that's where it all depends. If he can lean on him on the cage or take him down and, and hold him down and use that weight to his advantage, he's going to tire him out. But if he can, he's going to tire himself out, and Machida's going to dance around and picking him apart. Anything specific you think uh, John Jones is doing in camp to prepare for Henderson? working extra hard just lots of guys throwing overhand right yeah you know that guy that guy was starting his camp when i was finishing mine for this for this fight and uh you know he just he came in camp he's ready to go uh focused and and ready to put it on well thank you very much i appreciate it enjoy the fights on fox thanks sir all right take care